Danny Jenkins, CEO and co-founder of ThreatLocker. Today, we're gonna to talk about how ThreatLocker is improving your experience as a ThreatLocker customer, and we're enhancing our security to beyond just the endpoint. ThreatLocker's endpoint protection includes a full suite of endpoint tools that starts at the core principles of zero trust. By denying untrusted software, we're also able to stop ransomware, whether it's known or unknown ransomware. Our ring fencing technology controls exactly what applications can do. So when you see applications in your environment that you don't fully trust, you can limit whether they can access your data. Can they go out to the internet? Can they make system changes? And other really advanced features. We go beyond just controlling the application, but we can also help you elevate the application. So we can take away administrative permissions and we can allow only certain applications to run as a local admin on a per user request basis or a timed basis. Our endpoint protection is about protecting you from the biggest threats around. In addition to ThreatLocker's protection suite, we also give you control over network, we give you control over storage, we can give you full audits of all files, control your USB devices, and even complement this service with ThreatLocker's EDR, ThreatLocker Detect. ThreatLocker Detect alerts you of all known indicators of compromise based on MITRE attack framework, CISA alerts, and other known indicators of compromise. But in addition to this, you can create your own policies to alert on indicators of compromise. For example, you may say that my finance director is allowed to access all of the finance files in the organization. But if one day our finance director starts uploading files to the internet or copies 50 files to Dropbox, you might want to know about that or even automatically shut down their access. So with ThreatLocker Detect, you can create policies that limit the number of files, which applications, and automatically respond if somebody trips those thresholds. Now, all of this service wouldn't be possible without the backup and the service of our ThreatLocker CyberHero support, our MDR team, and our CyberHero approval teams. These services are integral to making sure you onboard properly, you're successful at delivering zero trust. ThreatLocker CyberHero approval takes the overhead of approving new applications away from you. Our CyberHero approval team work 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Whenever a new application is requested, it goes to our team, use your direction to decide whether to permit or deny that application or whether to escalate the issue to you. With ThreatLocker MDR, our average response time is less than a minute, where a trained cybersecurity engineer is gonna receive all of the alerts from ThreatLocker Detect. They'll review those alerts, they'll decide if they're false positive, and if needs be, they can call you, they can isolate machines, or they can even lock down those machines. With ThreatLocker Detect, we have more than just isolate options. We can create policies to deny certain protocols. So if somebody's connected to your server using RDP, we can block just RDP access. We can block certain applications. And the nice thing about this is that using our zero trust principles, those applications should be blocked by default. If a user does do something bad or we find something suspicious, for example, somebody's trying to run ransomware, we can not just isolate the machine, we can lock it down. With lockdown mode, we disconnect the machine from the network, but we also stop all reads, writes, executions, and even elevations from happening on the machine. So if ransomware was already running because you'd permitted it or it was in learning mode, that ransomware wouldn't be able to continue to encrypt files right away. Now, all of these services have really helped protect the endpoint, but what we've done at ThreatLocker, we've extended that. So today we're really excited to announce a few new features of ThreatLocker. The first feature that I want to talk about is ThreatLocker's new configuration manager. 18 months ago, ThreatLocker acquired a company called Third Wall and integrated it into ThreatLocker Configuration Manager. But what we realized over the last year is in order to deliver exactly what our customers need, we've expanded Configuration Manager, we re-envisioned it and rewritten it from the ground up. By recreating Configuration Manager, we've allowed you to create more advanced policies, more configurations in Windows, and allow us to respond with new policies much faster. Now you can configure Windows Defender directly from Configuration Manager. You can go in, you can see all of your settings in one place, you can turn on Defender, you can add exceptions, and when integrated with ThreatLocker Detect, you can get those alerts of when malware is detected with Windows Defender. ThreatLocker Detect also allows you to remove malware that's detected seamlessly from a single remove button on the UI. In addition to this, we have a really exciting announcement about how we expand beyond the endpoint. Traditionally, ThreatLocker is focused on protecting the endpoint because that's where the user interacts with the data at its most vulnerable state. However, we've extended this beyond the endpoint to the cloud. With ThreatLocker Detect for Cloud, we can now integrate directly into services, initially Microsoft Office 365, and we can detect anomalies or indicators of compromise directly from the cloud. We can automatically respond and we can feed those alerts into our MDR service. So for example, if a user tries to log in from two physical different locations, we'll get an impossible travel alert. 
We can look at that, we can review if it's false positive, we can even add exceptions for office or home IP addresses, and then we can either lock the account or we can just alert the administrator that suspicious activity was happening. We can create alerts on a new administrator accounts, unsecure protocols being used, unsecure clients being used, and other really important things you might want to know in your Microsoft 365 environment or Azure environment. Beyond this, our Microsoft 365 now integrates with network control. Network control has a feature that allows you to automatically block connections from untrusted devices. This is useful if you've got a laptop and a server and you only want that laptop to be able to connect to that server, whether it's on the internet or whether it's on your local network. Now with Office 365, you can also extend this into your Office 365 tenant. So you can create conditional access policies in Office 365 to automatically block access from untrusted IP addresses. And we're gonna update the IP addresses in real time based on the IP addresses of your laptops at that point in time. This ensures that users from remote locations aren't able to log in without coming from one of your trusted IP addresses, without you having to add IP addresses every time a user goes home, enters a Starbucks or anything else. Now, in order to make this work, we had to extend beyond the laptops and the desktops in your environment. So we are also introducing Threat Locker Access for mobile. Threat Locker Access works on your iPhone or your Android, and it's a simple app that your users can install to automatically track the locations of your users, including the IP address. So you can set geofence boundaries to stop people logging into their Office 365 tenant from outside of those boundaries, but also you can set boundaries based on the IP address of that user. So if a user goes to Canada, they can still log in because it's from one of your trusted devices that you have the Threat Locker Access Agent on. We've continued to expand the Threat Locker integrations with Microsoft 365 through our storage control. Historically, with Threat Locker Storage Control, you could only see logs of files that were changed on your endpoint. So you could go into a unified audit and you could see every file that's changed, who wrote it, written, delete, moved, who did it, the serial number, whether the device was encrypted. And this was really powerful information to the end user. With Threat Locker's enhancement into Microsoft 365, you can now see audits of your SharePoint files. When documents are changed, moved, deleted, those logs are automatically pulled into Threat Locker. Now, these announcements with Microsoft 365, with the cloud connection, are really, really powerful. But in addition to this, we want to bundle all this together. So we're very pleased and excited to talk about Threat Locker Unified. Threat Locker Unified brings all of the Threat Locker product in, under one umbrella whether it's our endpoint protection with our allow listing, our ring fencing, or our network control, whether it's our configuration manager, our elevation controls, or our storage controls, or even our threat locker detection tools. All of these tools have now been under, brought under one umbrella, one simple price, combined with threat locker MDR, threat locker cyber hero detect and response, and threat locker cyber hero approvals. You can pay one lower price to get all of the components integrating into your endpoint and to your Microsoft 365 tenant. This price reduces the amount of money you have to spend on endpoint and security products, but also gives you one unified interface. In addition to this, we've also added new enhancements. You can now increase the API calls per endpoint from 1,000 per month to 150,000 per month. We're also increasing the storage retention from 30 days to 90 days. So you can search back 90 days to see what's executed, what network calls, what elevations, and what storage access has happened on your system. All of this combined in ThreatLocker Unified delivers a great suite to you. If you haven't tried ThreatLocker before, please come visit our website, book a demo. If you're an existing partner and you want to see the new features, please go onto ThreatLocker.com and schedule a new demo for new features or reach out to your account manager. I appreciate you taking the time and we're really excited to show you the new ThreatLocker Detect product as well as the new ThreatLocker Unified platform. Thank you very much.